DFG Science TV, function through diversity, pioneering work in China, the largest ever forest experiment on biodiversity. The international team of researchers in China is primarily attempting to answer one key question. How does a forest ecosystem function and what role does biodiversity play in this? To answer this question, the researchers are studying the role of carbon and nitrogen in an ecosystem. They aim to track the routes these two elements take in the ecosystem. To achieve this, the scientists launch a large-scale litter decomposition experiment. Before they can begin, the researchers collect leaf litter using litter traps. Using these litter traps, they can calculate how much carbon and nitrogen from the trees and shrubs makes it back into the soil. The members of the team fill almost 1,000 litter bags containing leaves of one or more species. Then they spread them on the forest floor. I'm doing the whole experiment because I'm interested in the carbon and nitrogen uh, cycle and the decomposition of uh, organic material is a quite crucial uh, process in the carbon-nitrogen cycling and with all the data about litter fall, input, decomposition rate and so on we can then calculate later the turnover rates of carbon-nitrogen and the cycling in this uh, unique ecosystem here in Gudian Shan. At regular intervals, they collect some of the litter bags, weigh them, and analyze their carbon and nitrogen content. The results of these measurements show which species have the highest rate of decomposition and whether the mixtures of litter from several species decompose faster. The doctoral researcher Yin Lei Ma is also interested in the soil respiration. The question he's trying to answer is how much carbon dioxide is released by the soil to the atmosphere. For this soil respiration measurement, I will start using this palm. Yes, I have put uh, input the data, uh, for example, uh, the volume of the chamber and the area of the soil in the corner into this palm. Yes, and uh, it will uh, calculate automatically. The researchers are also studying the forest soil to determine the amount of nutrients available for plant growth. In every soil layer they measure the amount of nitrate and ammonium. These two nitrogen compounds play a crucial role in plant nutrition. Nitrogen is primarily needed for the enzymes involved in photosynthesis in the leaves. If there's a lack of nitrogen in the soil, plants grow more slowly. The researchers assume that forests with a high level of biodiversity are able to exploit the nutrients in the soil better. Thus, they are more productive than species poor forests. The individual nutrients can be marked using chemical markers, making it possible to track how they are taken up by the plants. Over the coming months, the researchers will observe, on the basis of the nitrogen levels in this experiment, whether ecosystems with a higher level of biodiversity are able to exploit nutrients more efficiently. Back in the lab, the researchers are preparing the samples for analysis. They dry the plant matter and extract the nitrate and ammonium from the soil. In Peking and back in Europe, the prepared samples will then be analysed to determine their carbon and nitrogen concentrations. With these findings, the team of researchers hopes to better understand the matter cycles in this species-rich ecosystem. Then they will also see what biodiversity contributes to these cycles. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.